I'm Madhul Kumar. Here is a test question on dot product of vectors. The question for you is, state whether each expression has any meaning. If not, explain why not, right? So we have four parts to it. These are all vectors we're talking about. Vector u plus vector v dot vector w. Does it have a meaning or not? You can write yes or no. If it doesn't have a meaning, you have to explain why. The second one is, we have dot product of two vectors u and v, and then we square it. Then we have dot product of two vectors u and v, and then dot product with vector w. And then we have square of vector u, right? So let's try to figure out whether these are, these have meaning or not. Basically, we should understand that dot product is between two vectors. So we are having dot product is between vectors. That is where the dot product is valid, right? You're going to have dot product with scalar vector combination. Is that okay? So this is what you're trying to see here. So state whether each expression has any meaning. Let's begin with the first one. When you add two vectors you get vector right so it is vector dot vector is it okay both are vectors and so we say yes it has meaning right so i'm writing the meaning part later first i'm reasoning it out so i'm writing reasons first okay and then whether it has meaning or not yes okay that's how we are going to answer it now we are having dot product, dot product results into scalar, right? So that means we are checking scalar and the square. Now scalar square has meanings, so we'll say yes, right? Okay, so dot product always is a scalar, correct? Now in this case, when you do the dot product, you get scalar dot vector. Do you see that? Now, scalar dot vector does not have any meaning, so it is not valid. Perfect, right? Vector square. We have vector square. So that means we have vector times vector. Now, does that have vector square? Will it have any meaning? What do you say? Think about it. We don't have anything in vector times vector, right? So this is not meaningful no now since i solved all this let me add a question for you let's have a dot product of two vectors and we'll multiply this by another vector now does this have a meaning or not think about it okay now and then write down your answer here is my solution the dot product is is scalar right so we have scalar times vector i'll leave this result for you right so you write down in comments your answer and then let's see i'm Anil kumar and i hope that helps feel free to write your questions and suggestions share my videos and if you like put a thumbs up thank you and all the best